What's your first word gonna be, Bobby? Are you gonna say mama? Are you gonna say dada? <laughs> you say dada? <laughs> what about mama? Go oh, come on, Bobby. <laughs> Little baby Bobby is two months old. Oh, baby. It's okay. <laughs> That's not really old. Here, you're two months young. How about that? She has been doing so well and is like a completely different baby than she was at one month. Um, first off, check this out. Hey, look at my head control. I'm just like a big old girl. <laughs> I feel like she's kind of developing a personality. Like, oh, did you just burp? <laughs> That's funny, baby. Cause now she like talks and coos and smiles and laughs and makes so many facial expressions. I mean, she's kind of always done facial expressions, but I think they're a little bit more on purpose now. Um, so, and that kind of came after like a week of some extra fussiness. And according to my, oh, what is it called? Wonder, Wonder something? Some app. She said we went through a developmental leap, which would explain the fussiness and the, all the new personality that this one's picked up. Um, She's also, I mean, she's kind of always had really good head control, but now it's even better. In fact, the other day I had her sitting on my lap and I could feel her supporting herself. So I like let go and she actually sat for a good like second and a half before she fell back down. So definitely getting strong, definitely growing at her appointment last week. She was 10 pounds and five ounces. Um, Funny thing about that appointment, I'll link the video somewhere else, but basically I thought she had a spot of blood in her diaper, ended up to be a fuzz. Um, but yeah, she's eating really well. She, I don't really keep track of it anymore, but she eats around seven or eight times a day, I'd say. Um, the feeding time has decreased so much. Like total like feeding and burping maybe takes me like 15 minutes to feed her where before I swore it took like an hour um so that's good and she is sleeping super well like we haven't been really strict about like the way she sleeps or the times I mean I try and get her down and up around the same times but she usually goes down around 10 and she'll sleep till about three or four wake up to eat <laughs> um sleep till about seven or eight wake up to eat and then sleep till 10 and we do change your diaper one time in the night too um but like except for a couple nights that's been what she's doing and it's awesome because i can only wake up one time in the night because the second time she wakes up i just get up um even the other night she slept for eight straight hours which was insane. When I woke up and saw that it was light outside, I was just like, what is going on? Did I like forget that I woke up once already or that? That was awesome. I don't expect that to be the norm, but <laughs> are you sleepy now, baby? I'm gonna see if I can get her to smile some. I have to move those. It's so hard to sit like this. If I can't get her to smile right now, I have plenty of phone footage, so. <laughs> it looks like that might be a hard thing. <laughs> so this looking back and forth thing has been a thing for her. Like when I put her down in her bassinet at night, she just does this, looks left. And right, in fact, will you let me show? She's got these knots in the back of her hair. Oh, I, I can't move her right now. Okay. But she's got these knots in the back of her hair from doing that. And 
I can't <laughs> unknot them. I know, it's so sad. Because I think I might have to cut her hair already. Which is like, she's only two months old. I don't want to give her her first haircut at two months. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. So, she has also been reaching for toys. Um, and like, just a lot more interactive overall. <laughs> good job, baby. She does really good at tummy time. She's been, like, completely lifting her head and her shoulders up, doing her little baby push-ups. Oh, what is that? Is that funny? Also, I realized I never really updated about her tongue tie. Um, it Her tongue just looks completely normal now. And she's having no problems feeding. And that was all good. The exercise sucked. But we got through it together. You probably don't even remember. <laughs> Look at your little chubby face. <laughs> Can I see your tongue? Can you stick your tongue out? Can you show your tongue? There's a little bit of a tongue. There it is. She has really been liking to sit up like this. Like if she gets fussy, if I just kind of turn her around, I think she just likes to look at stuff. Definitely is less fussy when more things are going on. So when it's just me and her, I think she just gets bored. Is that what it is, baby? Um, but as far as how I'm doing at the two month mark, I would say that I'm like 90% back to normal. Um, I don't feel like I'll feel completely normal at all while I'm breastfeeding just cause you know, there's a lot going on in that region. Region. That sounded weird. And then as far as like everything else, I mean, I still, I'm sure that I have some weight to lose, but my like 2019 goal or resolution or whatever is that I'm not gonna step on a scale because let me just like put my dietitian hat on for a minute body weight can be a good health indicator but it's not always the best and it's not even always necessary there are a lot of other ways to kind of determine your health other than your actual weight and I felt like I was getting in my head a little bit about the number, so I'm just done looking at it. I'm going to just make some other health goals this year to try and feel healthier and not really care what the actual number is. So. I occasionally will still feel a little off, like, when I'm sitting, like, cross-legged. Sometimes I'll feel, like, a pinch down in, like, the nether regions um i don't think that there's anything like wrong or whatever but i don't know it might just be in my head um emotionally i am feeling like way better than i was at the one month mark um i feel emotionally back to normal and we'll see how that goes this next week because i am starting back work this week which i kind of feel like is blessing and a curse like I don't know it'll be good to get out of the house but I'm gonna miss her so much but my job's really flexible I'm going back part-time I work not that far away <sighs> I, can't, I really hate cleavage the one thing I'm still bummed about is my stretch marks like I was kind of hoping that they would have faded some by now they really haven't I don't know like what I was expecting to happen I just was hoping that they would start yeah so if anyone has like tips on how to fade stretch marks, please leave them down below because they are not attractive. Not that it matters. Like I don't care because you know I have the perfect little baby, but I still want them gone. <laughs> oh, another thing with her is that like the past, I would say about a week, she has been really stopped up and 
I have not quite figured out how to help her out with that. Like, I've tried some saline drops and like the bulb syringe and the little sucker thing and taking her and like putting the hot shower on, humidifier at night, and I don't know. It just most of the day it's not a huge issue, but when she's eating, sometimes it's like sounds like she's really struggling to breathe. So Chris is taking a shower right now. I'm gonna run her in there and try and get that steam to loosen it up some more. Hey baby, we'll go in and see your daddy, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Are you laughing or crying? I think she's laughing. Oh. Yeah. Are you gonna smile a little bit? Yeah? <gasps> yeah? Ah -choo 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 -choo. Ah -choo -choo -choo. Say, I'm so happy. So happy. No, you're not happy. <laughs> All right, baby. I love you.